I can tell you one story about me uh, playing at Willamette. Um, we were playing Pacific University over at Forest Grove, a ninth mm -hmm. game, and their field was one great big square, or you might call it a diamond, but out in center field it was way, way out there, it kind of came out to a point, and then in that corner was a flagpole inside the field, uh, inside the fence, mm -hmm. and when they mowed, they just didn't bother to mow this clump of grass around that flagpole as they came around with the mower. Mm -hmm. Well, we were down, uh, we were down one run, and uh, we had a guy on first, and I was at bat, and I don't know, there was maybe one out, or none, and uh, I didn't, I, the coach, uh, John Lewis was at third base coaching, and I didn't look down there for the signal, but he probably would have wanted me to bunt and move that guy to second, so he'd have a guy in scoring position to perhaps tie the ball game. Mm -hmm. But I didn't look down there. I just, uh, I just was energetic, and I wasn't gonna. I don't know. I just didn't look for the signal. I got up to bat. I knocked one way over the center fielder's head, and it went into this clump of grass. <laughs> And the runner and I, we started going, and I went all the way around uh, inside the park home run. They couldn't find that ball in that clump of grass, wow. and it won the ball game because it won by one run. There was no other scoring. And um, however, uh, nobody told me, hey, you know, there was a bunch signal on there. But they didn't tell me, but I never knew that until. Ten years later, I ran into one of my old friend, ball player, and he said he started laughing. I remember the time he knocked a home run on the <laughs> bunt signal. <laughs> what? I couldn't believe it. 